and they're off. They race away then for the first uh, big jump race of the season, the Paddy Power Gold Cup, and Stage Star is straight away into the lead with the real Wacker with a noseband in pursuit. Unexpected Party is in company with those to Torn and Frayed and Fugitive and Whistle in the Dark and also Il Ridotto as they quickly come to number two with Black Jerry and Final Orders and also Harper's Brook, the last trio. Clearing over the second and in Moven Black Colors Stage Star in White and red the real whacker of the first pair. Unexpected Party is the first of the greys and sits about a length behind them in third place and the violet colours of Fugitive takes this in fourth. Torn and frayed and a green jacket is next towards the running rail a half length further back showing in fifth and then not long till May white and red colours around the outside of the second grey Angel's Breath in dark blue and white. And then comes Whistle in the Dark, a blue, yellow and white set of silks. He's in company with a pink jacket of Il Ridotto. Authorised art in purple is behind these. Very pale salt colours of Harper's Brook is next, who races in company with Easy as That. A little bit of white on his face as they move into the straight for the first time and head on towards number four. In dark blue and yellow, final orders and in two shades of green, Black Jerry are the last couple of runners. Clearing the fourth... And it continues to be on the right stage star. And with the noseband on the left, the real Wacker, who are the leading pair. Unexpected party is between them and back a length further behind them in third place. Moving down the straight on towards then fences uh, six and seven. Fugitive, cheek pieces on, a violet jacket, is in company with not long till May. Furthest from the inner of the course, red and white colours. The green jacket of Torn and Fred is up there towards the inner running rail as they come now on towards these two plain fences at the end of the home straight. Angel's Breath, second grey, dark blue and white colours is next. Il Ridotto with him. Whistle in the dark, a little slow perhaps against the running rail at that fence. And then the purple colours of Authorised Art, who's out wide as they jump over. Number seven with him is Harper's Brook, who's travelled strongly in the early part. There'd be a three-length gap behind those to final orders and easy as that together and Black Jerry in two shades of green is a half length behind those and up on the inside running rail with them. Moving on towards this next plane fence then, number eight as they run away towards the far side of the course with Fugitive coming up in the middle now of Stage Star and the Real Wacker and that is the leading trio. Uh, right in behind him is Unexpected Party is racing in fourth position uh, to not long till May, Torn and Frayed, Il Ridotto, Angel's Breath behind those and then comes Whistle in the Dark and then Authorised Art as they take this plane fence before the water. Uh, back in the field, Angel's Breath and also Final Orders. We're a little clumsy at that one. This is the water jump they come to now, and this is fence number 10 of the 16. Uh, jumping over it, the leader's getting over it OK. And uh, on towards the first of the ditches with Stage Star and the real Wacker just ahead of Fugitive. Right in behind those unexpected party as they take this open ditch to Il Ridotto. And then comes not long till May as they head on towards another plain fence. Torn and Frayed is next to Whistle in the Dark and then Angel's Breath and Authorised Dart. And behind those is Harper's Brook as they take this plain one. Easy as that, Black uh, Jerry, and also final orders towards the rear of the field. But now they have only four more fences to take in this Paddy Power Gold Cup. And Stage Star and the Real Wacker Fugitive continue to be the leading trio. Unexpected Party is right in behind them to the pink colours of Il Ridotto and then not long till May. Whistle in the dark, another error from him. Uh, these uh, leading sextet are followed by Torn and Frayed and Angel's Breath and then comes Harper's Brook. Whistle in the dark, easy as that. Authorised artist dropped to be the back marker with Black Jerry and also Final Orders who are towards the rear of the field. But it's downhill and to home with Stage Star in the mauve and black on the right still leading. Uh, two in white and red colours, extreme Team left is not long till May. Next in with a noseband, the real Wacker. Fugitive, Il Ridotto is still there. Uh, first of the Greys, Unexpected Party is on the right. Angel's Breath is on the left as they take the third last. Uh, they run on towards the home turn then, and it's still stage tower, but not long till May. In the red and white is almost alongside. Fugitive behind those in third. Il Ridotto and Unexpected Party very close together, four and five. Torn and Fred is behind those. 
Angel's Breath heads the remainder, but as they come towards a home turn, it's still Stage Star who shows in front. Leading by a length and a half, not long till May in second. Il Ridotto on the left in the pink colours has moved into third place. Unexpected Party is next. Fugitive behind that as they move on down towards the final obstacle then. Torn and Frayed went at the second last. Stage Star is over the last in front. Been out in front for a long time. In the red and white, not long till May is chasing him down, but he's still three lengths behind him. Stage Star and Harry Cobden in front are going to make all the running to win the Paddy Power Gold Cup. Not long till May in second, Il Ridotto in third. Fugitive was in fourth. An unexpected party, easier than that. Angel's Breath, whistle in the dark. Well, Paul Nichols is just watching the closing stages once again after Stage Star made that mistake at the last. Your reaction, when I was watching nearby, Paul. Talk me through it. Well, he did well to win from there. You don't have to make mistakes like that, lose your momentum and gallop on. If he hadn't done that, he'd have won very well. Um, it's been a bit of a challenge to get him right because he's not one that wants to be taken away for a gallop. He's not been anywhere. So we just got him right at home. He's good, fresh, but you've got to get that balance right of being fresh and fit enough to win like today. So, you know, he was been a target from when he came in this race and... But to be honest, if he hadn't made a mistake at the last, he'd have been well impressive. He's got to be a Ryan Air Horse, hasn't he? On that, he's yeah. going to keep improving. That's, that's the season will be geared back from that. Has to go left handed, so there's no point going anywhere else with him. But Ryan Air will be the aim now. And as for today's tactics and Harry right. getting out in front and getting to the rail. That's, he jumps left, so you've got to go that way. He said, if I'm in front turning in, I won't get beat. So he gave that a brilliant ride. And the other horse ran an absolute really? blinder yeah. as well, because he will come on for a run. He's one of them, and he'll come back in a month's time. Yeah, he got into a little bit of... Yeah, uh, but he still uh, ran really yeah. well, but he's not quite as good as that lad, but fantastic, that is. Um, obviously, this is a race that I know means a lot yeah. to you. You've won it before. But, but to do it with a horse that has delivered at the Cheltenham yeah. Festival and has now given you yeah. real hope for yeah. the Cheltenham Festival again must be thrilling. He's definitely improved on last year's form. He's won off 155 and and won a tad cosily even though with a mistake like that. That puts him right in the midst of the Ryanair and that's what would be his target and to be honest with you, if he didn't run before then I wouldn't lose any sleep over it but I'm not going to go right handed with him and so it limits a little bit where we go yeah. but that's not a worry. And, and just tell me about, because you've had a good run last week, yeah, obviously, yeah, we can't, didn't you? were pretty emotional then. I detect there's a, there's, a real, there's a real sense of emotion again today. Well, you just like training big winners, don't you? We all put a lot of work into it. And though we've been having plenty of winners, I'd say plenty not run that well. And I, I haven't been, yeah, everyone keeps saying, well, horses are doing well. But I'm still, in my mind, a long way off where we really want to really? be, yeah. Um, but the good ones keep winning, that's what counts. Well, and that, very, was, that was good. Very well done. Thank you very much. Well, here's Harry Cobden. He just gave a, a rueful smile as he walked away from the presentation. Um, talk me through that last fence. Uh, I'd like to see it back, but um, I don't know. I was just going quite well, and I was sort of in two minds, and I wasn't really properly committed to either, either of what we were doing, and he's made a bit of a mistake. And Actually, the peck on landing was, was where the actual problem was after, and um, probably gone from 25 mile an hour back to a walk, and... It's a big ask to get a horse back going up a hill when you've only got a furlong to run. Um, incredibly tough horse. He, you know, run till he couldn't run anymore. And um, we're just grateful to have him and I'm grateful to ride him. You've come back, there's hardly a speck on you. If he hadn't made that mistake, regardless, he's been very impressive. But overall, how impressed are you with what that horse did today and how much is a step up on what he did from last year? Massive performance, you know, he's carried a lot of weight there. I know he hasn't quite got top weight because of the real whacker being in there, but he's, um, he's carried a hell of a lot of weight. He's just, on the way around, I was most impressed, you know, how he settled and jumped from fence to fence. And he's come here without a run. He hasn't been away for a gallop. Um, so all his fitness and everything is basically what he's done at home. Um, and I suppose he's such an honest horse, so they can get him 110% for the day. No better man to target a race than <laughs> Paul Nichols. So, um, yeah, just, just very, very happy and glad I stayed on. And, and last thing, to win this one? Ah, oh, one more off the list, isn't it? Well done. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.